You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. You can find me on Twitter at ngap.ai. But before we start, let's, I just want to say that if you're a social justice warrior, communist, socialist, Marxist, please exit the channel. And on that note, let's begin. On this episode, I want to discuss about what I just read about this article on the Daily Wire about the Democratic Party's decision to impeach. And and they're the biggest representative of the Democratic Party just told them, just gave them a harsh reality of what's, what might happen if they try to do that. And they're crying outrage and stuff. But let me read the article, right? This article is entitled Pelosi Hoyer said... Impeachment is off the table, leaving Democrat crush. Okay, going on to saying the top two Democrats in the House, Speaker Nancy Pelosi and House Majority Leader Steve Hoyer, have called a time out on impeaching President Trump, crushing the dream of thousands of progressive. Progressive, that means they're communists, right? Let's say that. Activists and many other House colleagues. Okay. Pelosi announced a decision to focus on institutional impeachment proceeding on a call of House leader Tuesday morning telling 170 Democrats member of the Congress on on an insane 90-minute conference call that the House will instead focus on investigating the president and let the American people decide whether to believe in November of 2020. Fox News support Pelosi touches the colleagues, told the colleagues, that we have to save our democracy. Quote, this is about Demo- this is not about Democrats or Republicans. It's about saving our democracy. If it if if it is what we need to do to honor our responsibility to the Constitution, if that's the place and the fact that takes us, that's the place we have to go. She added before claiming that the facts simply don't point removing the president from office quite yet the office quite yet but the further investigation could lead there right that right look, look, look I just want to say this conservative have been putting up with Barack Obama for eight years right they don't like him they want to take him out of office as much as possible but we conservative thing don't go as far as trying to impeach the president we live with him right we live with Barry Santoro's for eight years, right? We didn't try to impeach him or anything like this. He's he, sure he did a lot of things on the ground for impeachment, but did the cons- did the Republican push on this idea of impeaching? No. Now why is it any difference from us winning? Now you guys want want to impeach, right? We put up for for your for your guys' policy for eight years, and now you can't put up with our policy, right? You guys are bitter losers. But let's continue with the articles, right? Quote, we don't have to go to the article to impeachment to obtain the fact, the, the presentations of facts. All right. In a letter released ahead, a call, Pelosi got into great detail. Excuse me one second. Just got to wipe my nose. All right. Well, our view ranges from proceeding to investigating and investigating the finding of the Mueller report or proceeding directly to impeach, we all firmly agree that we should proceed down the path of finding the truth, unquote. Pelosi wrote in the Democratic member, quote, it's also important to know that the fact regarding to holding the president accountable can be gained outside of impeachment here. You're right. That means run a better campaign. Have a better message when in the next election. That's what that's what she's saying. I'm not backing her up. I'm just pointing out what she's trying to tell the Democrats, right? Just wait out four more years and run a better ca- candidate and try to get the president out if they want if they if they, don't, if they don't really like it, All right? But let's go. Let's continue. Quote: Whether currently inductable, in, indictable, or not. She she said she added it is clear. That the president has, at a minimum, engaged in highly unethical and unscrupulous behavior 
which does not bring honor to the office he holds. All right, she's just bashing Trump now. Excuse me one more time. I'm sorry. All right, this is what I'm talking about when my podcast is unedited, unrehearsed, and uns- un- unrehearsed, all right? This is what you expect, all right? But let's continue. In, o- in other words, Pelosi planned to spend the next eight months directly co- dire- directing multiple investigations into Trump, his finance, his businesses, in his White House, and in the hope that the public impact of such pro will seriously injure the president given the Democrats and advantage in 2020 election. All right. That's less, that's less of a political move than a strategic one. A long, all along, Democrat has assumed rightfully that President Trump would likely benefit from the impeachment proceeding in the House particularly if he could use those proceedings to justify his claim of witch hunt and sub- substantiate his supporters feel that Democrats are simply out, out to get Trump and stall on any real policy initiative. They would much rather make the election and a referendum of Trump than give Trump the opportunity to present his defense. Hoyer made in a similar point of CNN that Dana Bash Tuesday morning, based on what we have seen in the date, Hoyer said, going forward, impeachment is not worthwhile at the point. Very frankly, there is an election 18 months and the American people will make the judgment. For Democrat, it's likely the right, excuse me, it's allergy season, guys, I'm sorry. Well, Democrat is likely to get is likely the right mo- most political politically expedient choices, but that doesn't mean progressive activists, fellow Democrats, weren't left utterly baff utterly baffled. Utter- utterly berate. I mean, sorry about that. On a sea of sadness, at the thoughts of foregoing their chances to impeach the president simply to earn an upper hand in the upcoming election. All right, that's the end of the article. I'll, if you guys want to read the article, I'll leave it in the description below. But one more time, let me... Excuse me. All right. I don't want to see you... I don't want you guys to see me wiping my face, but... All right. Clearly, the dec- Democratic are out of touch. <laughs> All right, they don't know the consequences of what's gonna happen. I mentioned this before in my video that if you're gonna do this, you can firmly solidify Donald Trump claim of witch hunt. All right, Fir- firmly firm solidifying the support of the president by all his supporters can come come vote in droves. Right, what their strategies, what the Nancy Pelosi strategy is doing right now is try to scrutinize the president more than more over time than to impeach him, right? She want she wants to scrutinize at the point that that um, all his dirt will come out and the people will see who he is and hopefully that will that will prove the public to vote against Donald Trump. Which I don't see anything happening. I think Donald Trump is not doing anything that dramatic that that constitute impeachment or anything like that. Excuse me. Alright. That going this route, I don't think they ha- they're gonna have a chance. If they're gonna try to impeach, I don't think they're gonna have a chance of winning any election. Looking at the candidate right now, I don't think none of them have any chances at all. It, regardless, of Joe Biden, I don't think they have any chances. But and then the Democrat are coming on draw, complaining that they want impeachment. Oh, we want impeachment, but they don't understand politics, right? They just purely don't want like Trump based on his. Not on his po- not not on his policy, but on his behavior, right? But yeah, the Democrats are chewing out each other right now, and there's only a handful of Democrats that have basic common sense, right? The rest of them don't have any common sense at all, right? And 
This shows Nancy Pelosi realizing coming to term that impeachment is not an option. It will make them look worse than what they really are right now, right? And I'm sorry about my allergies, guys, but the Democrat Party are lot. They lost their mind. They lost their marble. And now Donald Trump is suing the what, Elijah Cummings for uh, overreaching his privilege. Congress cannot ask for a private citizen's financial information like that. All right, that's not within that's not within his um, in- interest. Why are they overreaching? See, that's not the, the power of the Congress at all. And now Donald Trump are subpoenaing. They they figure that if they look into his um, his finance, they can find something. If they can find something, they already found it a long time ago. They're not gonna find anything. Right, that's private information. It's already subpoenaing the House, what, Financial Committee, whatever they are, Insight Committee. But, um, yeah, the Democrats are losing, guys. They're out of their mind. Only a few of them have some kind of common sense not to go with impeachment. Right? Because, look, they want impeachment, but we're not... Tr- they they want their cake and eat it too. That's what I'm trying to say. All right? They 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 want us to put up with eight years of Barack Obama, but now they would not want to put up with eight years of Donald Trump. Without making a havoc, all right? They're a bunch of crybabies. So they are sore losers. Like Donald Trump, take Donald Trump word. They're a bunch of sore losers. Can't take a loss. You know, it's only four years. It's only eighteen more months. All right. Deal with it. Right? It's not a lifetime appointment. The presidency is not a lifetime appointment. That's why they have two terms. Right? They don't understand this basic pol- politics. But I don't know, guys. Do you think um, the Democrat lost their parties, lost their ways? Let me know you agree. You think they can push for impeachment, even though their top head honchos are advocating no impeachment? Let me know you agree. I'm, un- I'm not monetized. That means I'm not bound by any outside interference. I mean, an unscripted, unrehearsed, unedited. You can already know I'm unedited, right? Because it was why I'm putting myself out like this. But if you like what I do, you can hit the subscribe button, like, and find me on social media, Twitter, and get that AI. On that note, guys, this is the Holly Vault Podcast. I'll leave the article on the description below. And I don't know. On that note, guys, I'll see you guys in the next next broadcast. And peace. <laughs>